Imagine a world of elephants, giraffes and monkeys that talk, do maths and love science. This is a Bongo Kid, a cartoon set in such a fantasy world that has become Tanzania's most widely watched TV program. The startup up Bongo Media produces the show on the fringes of Dar es Salaam, the country's buzzing economic hub, following the educational adventures of a young boy and his furry friends each week. <laughs> Ubongo Media's artistic director taught singing for 15 years in primary schools before creating a bongo kid with four others. He is passionate about making learning fun for kids, inspired by his own memories of school. When I was in primary school, uh, I was hearing that mathematics is a very hard subject. And uh, sometimes I didn't understand the teacher in mathematics, not because uh, I don't know to mathematics, but the language teacher used to teach me mathematics. I didn't see the uh, relation between mathematics with my life when I was a kid. Recently translated into English and broadcast in Kenya and Uganda, some 1.2 million viewers tune in to Obongo Kid each week. It's a welcome resource in many African nations struggling with a shortage of school materials. I've always liked division, but it's very difficult in math class at school. Ubongo Kid helps me learn division better. Now I understand it, and there's no problem anymore for me. My teacher was very surprised. Ubongo Media, which produced Tanzania's first cartoon two years ago, is growing and taking on new projects. Today, 17 people work full time on Ubongo Kid, and the startup is extending its reach through mobile phones. We just actually launched our mobile platform, which uh, where kids can interact, they can answer uh, quiz questions, and and get feedback from their favorite cartoon characters. The team is now working on a new cartoon to help teach English to children aged three to seven, planning to market it in other African nations as well as Asia.